Hare Krishna, Dindavan Pranam. Happy Nrsinga Chaturdasi to all. Today I am going to recite a poem on the glorificence of Lord Narasimha. Lord Narasimha, also known as Mahasimha, appeared on the earth as Ograsimha, feared by many, mighty and puny. The Lord emerged from the pillar in the form of a fearsome killer with the upper half of a ferocious lion's head and the lower half of a human's body. The Lord's roarings and shrills made everyone run hither and thither, except Prahlad and Hiranyakashipu, who never anticipated such a miracle and grandeur. The Hiranyakashipu, the undoubtful fool, who committed mistakes without a rule, was now in front of the Lord, holding a massive sword, ready to fight with all his might. Little did he know that he was facing the Lord with his own accord. The Lord with his furious eyes and with the regal mane of a mighty frame lifted the raised Hiranyakashipu and placing him on his lap, his claws like the chisel tore apart the stomach of the demon, killing him instantly, thus ending the rule of the full Hiranyakashipu. After this pastime of killing the demon's rhyme, the Lord assumed the form of Divya Singha as the ultimate supreme refuge. The Lord appeared on the earth in the divine form of Narasimha as his birth to protect his greatest devotee Sri Prahlad who caused the divine appearance of Lord Narasimha as sold as the path of devotional love and dedication to the Lord. The Lord is everywhere, protecting all those who fall, seeking his shelter, making him the supreme refuge. The Lord showed us all that nothing is beyond his treasure and everything is only him. Hare Krishna.